Yo guys, what's up? Magic Bard here. What's cracking? We're going to be going through this Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, uh, I mean Mighty Morphin logo uh, transforming effect that you can add to your arsenal in becoming an epic visual effects artist. Uh, fairly easy. I'm just going to kind of go through this quickly to show you how you can do it. And there are advanced things you can do to this. For example, um, applying it to live action footage, but uh, we'll just be using shape layers for now. And then, uh, yeah, I'll just try and get through it as fast as possible to show you kind of how this thing works. So let's uh, create a new composition. And we're going to go 1920 by 1080, 10 seconds, and we'll call it the uh, Morphin Logos comp. And I'm going to add a solid in here just to make it look a little bit better, light gray. And first things first is go into your pen tool and just make a little selection area, okay? And it, it doesn't matter what it looks like, it's just there so we have this shape layer right here and we're gonna open this up open the contents of the shape and search for the path and this is what we're gonna use for changing around our logos and making them morph alright so let's take the first logo that we're gonna use which will be our person image uh, PNG file now this can be oops this could be any um, logo or image you have I'm just using this one for now so what we want to do is basically create a path of this guy so I can use the pen tool and create my own path or a faster process is going into layer and clicking on auto trace which is basically after effects tracing over this so I don't have to do it okay and now this all looks good I want to trace the alpha channel um, cool good to go and there you go you've got your image traced out now we can hide this for now and we're gonna go into our auto traced person go to the mask path okay and copy this okay so command C or Apple C uh, control C if you're on Windows and then we can close this for now and we're going to control V or command V the path into our shape layer path so command V and boom now you've got your guy now we can uh, delete this or we can delete our person um, just to kind of clear things up so we're not messy so we have our shape layer and we have our dude so we're looking good so far now it'll create the keyframe for you right there extend that keyframe out to about a second long or however long you want it and then at second two we want him to morph into our next logo which will be our uh, video camera or uh, film camera logo okay so we're gonna do the same process go into layer auto trace now this will um, auto trace the whole PNG and remember make sure I, I forgot to tell you on that last one that apply to a new layer is checked um, and then you know if you press preview it'll show you what's going to be traced okay now I'll show you this in a second press OK and now we're gonna have a bunch of layer a bunch of uh, traces right so the insides basically wherever the alpha channel is now the only one we want is this outer layer so what we can do is go into our uh, new traced layer and it'll be this first one okay and you can select it to see which which one it is um, so if you want to just kind of clean things up select all the masks you're not going to use and just press delete okay and now you've got what you're going to be morphing into so take that mask path copy it command C close this for now and hide that and then go into our path make sure it's at our playhead is at the two second mark and command V okay so now you've got the effect okay so now you're morphing from the man to our camera let's just take this keyframe control C it and then bring it out a second long control V so you've got a camera and now we're gonna do this one more time if you guys didn't get it the last two times I did it let's do it one more time with our 
Jumpman logo, my favorite shoes. No, this is not an advertisement for uh, Michael Jordan. So uh, here we go. You have our, your logo. You're going to go into layer, auto trace. Everything's checked off where we want it. Press OK. Now we've got what we want. Go into here. We can delete our Jumpman logo. And let's just delete these two as well. Um, so now we have our Jumpman logo that's been traced. Go to mask, path. Control C, delete this for now, delete the auto trace layer, go into your shape path, and control V. Okay, now, a little tricky thing that you guys may end up coming into. Um, if your logo is too big, which is, which is what it is right now, right? I want the Jumpman to be about this size. What you're going to do is go into your um, transform shape, and bring the playhead back to where you last were, which is the uh, video camera, and keyframe the scale. And then what you're going to do is go to your Jumpman logo and just scale them down to, to the point of where you'd like it to be, probably about there. Okay, and now we've got our Jumpman logo. Boom. And guys, you're good to go. Um, there's a bunch of things you can do with this effect. Um, I just want to keep this short to give you guys an idea of how simple it is it is to morph logos. Um, you can imagine what you can do with uh, live action footage um, where maybe you want a person to morph into uh, the Jumpman logo or a person to morph into a Nike logo. I don't know. what Whatever your mind desires. And you can also add colors to this. Okay, So maybe if you want, you can add a uh, four color gradient and keyframe that. Um, if you just want solid solid colors, you can go into your fill, okay, and maybe you want a white video camera, so just keyframe the color here, and then you want your Jumpman logo to be black. So click that, and you'll get your colors. Go down to black, and now your colors are morphing as well, okay? So, um, you know, fairly simple effect, straight to the point. Yeah, fairly simple, straight to the point. Um, you know, cool little effect you can add to your visual effects arsenal. Now you guys know how to morph logos. So yeah, let me know if there's a visual effect you want to know about. Um, hit me up with a comment, say what up, and I'll try to get those to you as soon as possible. Or if you want to do the more advanced version of this, uh, let me know about that as well and I can arrange for something cool that would make sense for uh, this tutorial. Uh, yeah, guys, so subscribe to the YouTube channel to stay updated when I post a new tutorial. I'm going to try to do a couple of these every week or a few of these, however many I can get to you. And uh, feel free to follow me on social media. That's where I post a bunch of behind the scenes stuff, sometimes Photoshop stuff that I like to play around with. And um, yeah, I'm at Magic Bard on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. All right, guys, <laughs> that's it for me. I'll see you on the next one.